The invention of a transistor, which became the most important achievement of the 20th century, gave a start to semiconductor electronics. The transistor soon found application in various electronic devices, especially, it should be noted, in consumer radio electronics. The first portable radio receiver was called a transistor for many years. The emergence of germanium and silicon transistors in our country in the 1950s, 1960s boosted a massive production of compact semiconductor devices and a strong demand among Soviet consumers. New technologies were constantly updated, but electron tube devices produced at the same time up to the 1970s greatly affected the competitive strengths of Soviet manufacturers. So, a portable Soviet transistor radio, Selga 402. One should give proper respect to its manufacturer, the Riga Popov Radio Technica plant. One can remember those practical quality highly durable transistor models this plant used to produce. After the collapse of the USSR, the plant began falling into decay, and by the end of the 1990s, it simply ceased to exist. But its offsprings have stayed at our place and never let us down with their smooth operation. Selga 402 was the first Soviet radio receiver to employ silicon transistors. It was designed to pick up LW and MW stations. The internal magnetic antenna receives the input via sockets for an external antenna and handsets. The leather case protects the chassis from exposure. The sensitivity of the receiver is about 1.5 millivolt. The adjacent channel selectivity is 20 decibels. The available output is 100 milliwatts. The maximum output is 200 millivolts. The radio receiver is powered by AAA batteries. Let's open the receiver and take a look at its design. The circuit includes six silicon and two germanium transistors. Two transistors, impedance matching and output voltage, sensitive magnetic antenna, an encapsulated continuously adjustable capacitor with an air electric which adjusts the device all pressure circuits of receive and transitional paths. Let's see the components, years of production. 1972. And everything is like new. And now let's switch it on. It must haven't been used for more than 30 years. The receiver, or transistor as we used to call it, works as it used to, almost in the same way as it used to work 40 years ago.